continuing the activity list as well with the activity durations always keep in mind while you are doing the activity list try to do it in the right sequence it's okay not to do it in the right sequence but this means the activity ID will change as you are going to see for example now you're going to add the next activity usually the next activity as you see from here it should be blinding concrete but it's not well clear that there should be blinding concrete but in the shop drawings for sure there will be blinding concrete or you can just make it concrete uh, concrete columns whatsoever but let's say for example because this automatically is generated 10 10 so that's why you, you want to keep it in the same sequence to be even easier for you for review later on but you are say pouring the blinding concrete before the blinding concrete for sure there is a lot of tiny and pieces you should do you should clean you should make uh, the bts you should also termite control there's a lot of items but just we are trying to make the idea to take the idea from here by doing a full building as normal that we should do and just to get the idea out of it and even even in big project it's not it's not broken down to such details especially in the schedule you can make another schedule in an excel which is more detailed with the construction team so let's finish by this one bring the blinding concrete we'll assume everything is ready adding we'll add the traumatic control and everything here so we'll give it three days you can start sequencing by the way if you are already sure and everything you can sequence either there's two different ways actually three different ways if you come here you can assign from the predecessors and choose in such case you only have one which is this one so you're going to choose it will appear here in the predecessor under this tab under the relationship tab so and it will automatically come with finish to start this is one of the ways or you can come here to excavation it will automatically appear in the successor you can also assign and show it here instead of assign or you can select both activities and right click link activities and automatically will be the first one you selected then the second one will come as successor so let's take an example let's see here finish to start let's understand the journal tabs here first first we have a journal the journal says the activity type the duration type complete type is duration or physical there is three different ways it's either unit percentage complete or duration percent complete or physical by duration it's like it's three days so when let's take another you know, let's take for six days when three days passes this means 50 percent so that's what it's automatically calculated so to take an example let's show from the columns here just a quick example we are going to show the activity percent complete activity percent complete this one sorry it's we really going so the activity person we can wide from here so in such case if we put this one let's say 50 percent make this three ah this six but when you update you're going to update you're going to update from the status column using let's assume started then we will make the remaining duration three to magically change it to 50 percent okay back six and we will add this 50 this one is automatically changed it to three that's duration while the physical if you made it as a physical percentage of completion these are independent by meaning you can say 90 percent but for some reason it still needs six days so these are the kinds of the activity special units is related more for the resources so we'll keep it aside for now so the tabs are general and even the activity calendar which you already assigned before which is the guard room you always make sure that you are using the right activity calendar then the status which is the original actual remaining it's start finish the plan start if you want to add any constraint 
and then we have the resources what are the resources assigned to such activity and then you have the relationships so now you have created and made one link while also creating your activity list so let's create the rest of the activities the other activity after deploying in concrete we can make the isolated footings or we can just keep it footings we can also add the level but it's not very clear here we can make the footings and the column neck because there would be most probably some concrete and some waterproofing and some slab and grate and then finish we will give this for example eight days and as well we are going to link this finish to start link activities so now you are going to see this one here as a predecessor and this one here comes the successor so now you want to run and to see how is the sequence in this bar chart how does it look like so if you come here it all starts the same day but if you run can you run using this one or you can run using if results 